Let me throw it to you, Gilbert. Cool. You're at a restaurant by yourself, and you see a friend of yours. Let's call him Tommy G. Tommy G. And Tommy G. Tommy G goes, hey, dude, you eating by yourself? You know what I mean? Hey, can I sit with you? Would you say yeah? Yeah, sure. Sit down. Okay, what if Tommy G had a friend? My friend Billy's here. Billy sits down, and Billy has nice guy, you know, pretty cool guy, right? But, but. but, he, but he had a tumor, right, the size of another human head, dripping from his head. Oh, is it oozing? Yeah. No, it's not oozing. It's just Keep a going. tumor that's just, going. like, hanging from his head. Sure. And you're eating with him. Would you be, like, and the tumor's, like, you know, you're, you're in a Mexican restaurant. Yeah. And it's, like, his tumor's, like, kind of dunking. It's just dipping into the salsa. Oh, I just go. Would you ever, do? would you completely ignore the no, tumor? I literally, no, If he sat down, i go, who's your friend? Yeah, you, you make a joke immediately. Oh, oh, oh! I see what you're saying. You look at the. Oh, that's very good. I see the friend. I see Bill. Oh, hey, Billy. Nice Bobby to meet you. does that with my I, pimples. I would even put my hand out to the tumor and try to shake it. <laughs> like for me, Be- I, I don't want to deal with like yeah, because they know I see it. It's yeah. like I told you, my friend with the three fingers on his hand. Yeah, I will purposely shake his hand. Yeah, squeeze it. Yeah, like search. For, so he knows that I know I'm feeling it. No. I don't want to deal with the awkwardness later. See, what I would do is different. I would do the opposite. Right, oh my I would be. I would try because I don't want him to hurt his feelings. So much mental gymnastics. I know, but if his tumor was dipping into the salsa, say, okay, say it's- I would take a chip and still eat the salsa pre- and pretend it didn't happen. You would probably even go past go. Mm! <laughs> <laughs> More flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I think I would completely ignore it. Why do you ignore those things? I, like- because I don't want to hurt his feelings. I'm gonna go. Hey, nice tumor. You don't think it's condescending? To, uh, <laughs> what do you do? Nice tumor, friend. I mean, he would laugh. He were like, "Hey, yeah. nice tumor." Yeah, that's be funny. Yeah, like Kalala, do you ignore anything? Like, say someone has not a pimple, but like like a deformity, which we all can see. Do you yeah. avoid ever bringing it up, or even asking about it, or do you just go on? If it's very like upfront in your face, like Bobby described, I I choose my moments wisely with people. I also am really like sensitive to that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I choose my moments wisely. Like there would not, there would be nothing. I've never felt awkward around people with deformities just cause yeah, I choose my moments. It's like if, if they, if they start the conversation, if they want to open up, that's fine. If not, they're a regular human being. If it doesn't get in the way of our actual conversation, like what's it to me that he looks different than me? Or if it doesn't right. get in the way, it doesn't get in the way, then who cares? I don't give a shit. Now, if it's getting into my salsa, yeah, then I'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> You go, whoa, 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 whoa. Your tumors in the salsa. You crossed it's, the line. Whoa. No, no, not in whoa, the whoa, way. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. I would disgusting. be like, I would be like, yo, like you're, you're, <laughs> I would, I would probably try to take a napkin to his tumor and be like, you're getting it wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're getting yourself wet. Yeah, my, po- here's my point of view. If I have a tumor on my head yeah. and I meet anybody for the first time, uh, I address the tumor. I don't think you have to address a tumor. We all see it. No, but to make it not. Why, a, I have a tumor. No, not attack. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. no. I, I wouldn't be like that. I'd just be like, I'd, if, if I'm, I have a tumor on my face. I have a friend named Tommy G. Tommy G is like, hey, I'm going to sit next to my friend Gilbert, right? When I sit at the table, before you, I even shake Gilbert's hands, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, sorry about the tumor. It might, yeah, it's so big. It might, you know what I mean? Fall in the salsa. Fall in the salsa. So that it opens up the conversation for you to go to say things about it. Yeah, but why does it have? Why does he have to wear it, bear the emotional burden of your discomfort around him? Because I just want to. Because like uh, I don't have to. Like if something is wrong with me, and mm-hmm. let's say like I, I'm missing like an arm or whatever, why do I have to explain myself just so you're not comf- not you're un- not uncomfortable? Where it's like it's, grow up. It's shit. We're all different bodied. Like it, it it's fine. Shit happens. We're there are a lot of different fucking I think possibilities an, for how we can look. It's fine. An arm is different than a tumor, by the way. No, but what I'm saying, right, is a, a like, tumor is something that you would have to address. I think. Well, no, that's I. If, if it happened to me, I don't feel like I have to keep explaining to everybody around like what it is. Can you just get over the fact that yeah, something's possibly growing on my face and that it's different from yours, and then just like move on. Yeah, I will say anyone I've encountered is usually being in, in comedy, so they're the ones that always bring it up. Uh, yeah, because I've, uh, I've but I feel like to, that's yeah. a way to like deflect too. Like I feel like they do that because of course you again. know they're worried that people are uncomfortable around them. But if I had that shit, I'd be like, sit in your discomfort. I'm not even going to explain to you what this shit is. 
So at no point, so at no point, she does have a point. When it falls no, to salsa, she goes, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" That's true. Yeah, I'd be like, "Let me wipe your tumor for you." Now it's wet. Then do you order another salsa and call the waiter, or do you leave that? No, it's oh, not that, that's, that's, thing. That's, that's the interesting. Question. Let me. I'll, that's interesting. I'll, I'll answer your question. Yeah. Look, if it's not an unhygienic <laughs> thing, yeah. No, I'd eat it because guess what? They're fucking people barehanded making your food anyways. It's the same as fucking the meat on his tumor and the meat on their hands. It's fine. How rude it would it be if you go. Waiter, can I get a different song? <laughs> well, first of all, I can hear you whispering, dude. Yeah. My tumor can hear you whispering. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of tumor are we talking about? Is it like an know. elephant trunk? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like elephantitis? Yeah, I've seen that on like, you know, in that the show that I love, Body Bazaar. Body right? Bazaar. Where so, I saw a lady with hands, right, that were like the size of, um, you know what I mean, a fucking ottoman. Mm-hmm. Like they were gigantic hands, right? So it's like, if I have those kind of hands, and I meet somebody, you know I mean, do I shake it or do I go, "Hey, man, you can just shake the finger"? <laughs> All right, well, that's so specific. No, because it's so big. Like I would have to, because if you put your hand, it'll be weird. So I just be, like, "Hey, dude, I know I have big hands, but just I'm shaking your hand, but just shake the fucking." The fingernail. Part. I think you should offer the hand anyways, and then wait for their move. If they're not comfortable shaking yeah. your hand, they're gonna be like, "Dude, my hands are too big, so they're too heavy. I can't shake it." Because that's what I do. Like when people, <laughs> yeah, offer, he looks like you're the idiot, dude. My hand. You know how big my hand is? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Fuck you, true. man. Then, yeah. then, then it's on you. Then, then, <laughs> oh. then it's fine because like sometimes people do that. Like they they extend their hands, and I'm yeah. like, I'm sorry, I can't shake your hand because I have oh, like sweaty, yeah. wet. Oh. You know, I have wet fish for hands. Imagine putting up your big hand and then them not shaking it, and then it just starts getting heavy. <laughs> You just hold it there. Yeah. You, you. <laughs> yeah. Fucking shake it. Shake it. Yeah. <laughs> what are these scenarios that we're coming? I, I just love these scenarios. Oh, because man. these are things that I think about, social things I think about at night. It could happen. The thing is, it could happen. Yeah. Like when I see Body Bazaar, I think about like what it would be like to either be them mm-hmm. or what it would be like, you know, to be out in the, in the world socially. Yeah. You know, and what are the like... What are the social, you know, norms and things that you do? Yeah. 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 I, I always think that like their experiences are probably so different than yours and probably present a lot of challenges. Yep. So like yeah. why be a dick and just like stop making their life more difficult and just treat them like you would anybody else? Yeah. Yeah, I would probably, you know, if I had something like that, I would just play it up. That's our personality though. Yeah, like, you know, I, I saw, one time I saw on Body Bazaar, you know, someone that has a skin, very skin condition where they don't have a layer of skin, so it's like red, mm-hmm. you know, and they can't be out in the sun. That was a really sad one. Yeah, if I had that, oh. I would probably wear constantly like a Kr- Freddy Krueger sweater. <laughs> so you'd play it up. And play it up. Yeah. And have the hand, you know, the, the knife hand. Yeah. You know, and just play it up and get in, wow. you know. What a cheap Halloween costume. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Save man. money. That's <laughs> <laughs> awful. It's, it is awful. awful. It's terrible. Yeah. You know, we should, you know, in, and I think when I watch a show like, and what people ask me, why do you watch shows like that? And um, I think gratitude. Mm. Oh, by, by, by the way, I think I need glasses. Do you, do you feel like you can't see? <laughs> He's he's been. I, I've been blind. He's been blind, guys, for a while. He's what just been in denial. What is your diagnosis? From what you've seen the past, I think that year. he just needs glasses. He can't see. Like, yeah. Well, he hasn't since I've known him. He hasn't been able to read from a certain distance. Where I'm like, how can you not read that? 